Can we just go ahead and give the Rookie of the Year award to Golden State Warriors center, James Wiseman? <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but his surprising play to start the year is giving Warriors fans hope in a season that has otherwise failed to meet expectations. James Wiseman is showing that he's on another level from everyone else in this rookie class. So why were many of us so wrong about him? In today's video, I explain what makes James Wiseman so elite and how his play is changing everything for the future of the Golden State Warriors. Hey, it's Troy. Hit subscribe and notification bells if you're new here. Just so you know, I make NBA videos like this all the time, fresh content several times a week. Would love to have you be a part of the channel. So let's begin by talking about my personal prediction for James Wiseman before we started the season. In my rookie prediction video, I said James Wiseman will average 9.8 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 1.4 blocks. But you know what? I think he's going to go way above and beyond that. Sure, it's early, but in just a few games, we are seeing the NBA's next unicorn. James Wiseman is a guy who is already looking like an elite pick and roll finisher. More on that in a minute. His athleticism is off the charts. He runs the floor in transition like a guard. And remember, this guy is 7-1. He can block shots. He can rebound. He can hit the three-pointer. And that has been one of the biggest surprises for me. I thought Wiseman might hit a three once every few games, but no, 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 no. He is bombing away like he is a seven-foot Steph Curry. What many analysts expected to be a consistent part of James Wiseman's game in maybe two or three years from now is a big part of his offense from day one. So hold up, you mean to tell me that as early as next year, the Warriors could have Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and James Wiseman just bombing away from three? <sighs> Come on. As for the negatives, James Wiseman's defense hasn't been great, and we expected that when he was coming out of college. That was one of the knocks on Wiseman's game. But there are even some positives with that. Draymond Green, one of the best defenders in the NBA, has yet to play a game for the Warriors this season. When he comes back and when he's sharing the floor with James Wiseman, Draymond will be able to communicate to Wiseman where he needs to be on defense, and he'll be able to help his game blossom in that area as well. So as good as James Wiseman is, there's a whole nother facet of his game that hasn't even been unlocked yet. James Wiseman isn't giving us that deer in the headlights look that we get a lot of times from rookies. He actually looks like a veteran, an all-star big man from the jump. He's got supreme confidence when he's on the floor, and he's showing that his learning curve is way ahead of where many of us thought it would be. Warriors coach Steve Kerr is on record as calling Wiseman fearless. Draymond Green, his future teammate in the front court, said Wiseman doesn't have a clue about what he's actually doing, but he's still very special. Basically, everything we've seen from Wiseman so far is raw instinct. So just imagine when the guy who is the front runner for Rookie of the Year does start to put it all together. Think about when he has maybe a 10% understanding of the basketball basics. 50%, 75%, the sky is the limit. And you gotta remember, James Wiseman missed training camp, he missed preseason, and he's still playing like this. That's why the Warriors coaching staff are having to figure out how to get James Wiseman more involved in their offense, basically as soon as possible. This much is clear. The 19-year-old Wiseman must be considered part of the Warriors building blocks. He is part of their future. He is part of a new Warriors big four. Curry, of course, he's still the centerpiece. Green and Thompson, they're the deputies. Wiseman is the player who can make them better now and serve as that bridge to the next Golden State Warriors era. The coaching staff has been working overtime to redesign parts of the offense to revolve around James Wiseman. Some things they're literally having to start over with because of his rapid development. 
The first order of business is going to be perfecting the Curry Wiseman pick and roll. With Curry shooting, with Wiseman's length and athleticism, that's eventually going to be unguardable. Even throw in Draymond with his awesome basketball IQ gives you another option for that play. The coaching staff will also need to figure out a way to run plays that allows James Wiseman to show off that smooth three-pointer that he's got. And even though Steve Kerr has never been one to play his centers tons of minutes, he's got to make it a goal to give Wiseman at least 30 minutes a game. The Warriors will be best served if, from now on, they concentrate almost everything on blending in Wiseman with Curry and Green and structure that system so when Klay Thompson is back next year, he can step right in and not miss a beat. Really, not a whole lot else matters for the Warriors right now. And yeah, that is going to be at the detriment of some of the players currently on the team. So apologies to Andrew Wiggins, apologies to Kelly Oubre, Eric Pascal, even poor Alan Smilagich, but welcome to the NBA. If the Warriors build Wiseman up, play him 30 minutes a game, let him play through his mistakes, they could still end up losing a lot of games. The Western Conference is really, really tough. And no, that's not ideal from preseason expectations, but think about it like this. Heading into next season, you're still going to have Wiseman, Curry, Green, Thompson, as well as their own lottery pick and the Timberwolves' potential lottery pick as well. Top three protected. And the 2021 NBA draft is going to be one of the strongest in years. Imagine getting a player like Jalen Johnson, Zaire Williams, Brandon Boston, Jonathan Kaminga, Cade Cunningham. This could actually happen. A championship contender with a young core, experienced veterans, and when the vets retire, the Warriors are still a contender for the next 10 years. That's a real future. So yeah, I was wrong about James Wiseman, and I think it's time to admit that, but what's important for the Warriors is to focus on the future and focus on what's ahead. I had the Warriors as maybe a five seed playoff team once the end of the year rolls around. Might have to change that to maybe not even making the playoffs. If they do, maybe have them in that seven seed, eight seed. So should they just tank? I don't think so, because you want to establish that winning culture. No matter how long Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre are on the team, you want to establish the winning culture for them along with James Wiseman. Oubre and Wiggins have never been on a winning team. They don't know what that winning culture is like. And if you're wanting to trade Andrew Wiggins, which I think is the eventual plan, it'll be tough with that contract, but if you want to trade Andrew Wiggins, I think it's going to be a lot easier to trade him if you're able to establish that he's contributing to a winning culture and he's not just one of those good stats, bad team kind of guys. Then you end the 2021 season with hopefully Minnesota's lottery pick, potentially your own lottery pick, or if not, maybe a pick around 15, 16 range. Then you're getting the Minnesota pick, which I think will be top 10, potentially even top five. That's a quick and easy rebuild. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like to let me know you're enjoying this content and it really helps out the channel. Also, make sure you are subscribed and let me know in the comments what you think of James Wiseman's rookie year thus far. Do you think he's going to be rookie of the year? And what do you think for the Warriors this coming season? I want to hear all about it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This is Troy with the Half Court Report, and I'll see you next time.